Before we proceed on our discussion, let me present to you our objectives. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to determine and apply the formula in finding the percentile value for group data. Solve problems involving percentiles for group data using frequency distribution table. Apply and interpret percentiles in real-life situations. Let's get started. In our previous lesson, we learned how to solve and interpret quartiles and deciles for group data. This time, we will discuss how to solve and interpret percentiles for group data. But before that, let us recall what is percentiles. Percentiles are those values that divides the total frequency into 100 equal parts. At this moment, let us determine the formula that we're going to use to solve the percentile value for group data. In finding the value of percentile, we need to determine first the P sub K class. The formula is simply P sub K class is equal to K times n all over 100. Then, we can proceed to the formula for percentile, which is P sub k is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity k times n over 100 minus less than cumulative frequency before the percentile class all over the frequency of the percentile class times the size of the interval. Again, LB is the lower boundary of PK class. N is the total frequency. Less than CFB is less than cumulative frequency before the PK class. FPK is the frequency of the PK class. I is the size of the class interval. And K is the nth percentile. For you to understand this, let's have an illustrative example. Calculate the 65th percentile and the 32nd percentile of mathematics test scores of 50 students using the given frequency table. We're going to solve P sub 65 followed by P sub 32. Are you ready? Okay then, let's start solving the 65th percentile. To solve the 65th percentile, first step is to create additional column for the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency. Step number two is to fill in the table by identifying the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency. To identify the lower boundary, we will subtract 0.5 from the lower limit in each class. So we have 21 minus 0.5 we have 20.5, 26 minus 0.5, we have 25.5, 31 minus 0.5 is equal to 30.5, 36 minus 0.5, we have 35.5, 41 minus 0.5, we have 40.5, 46 minus 0.5, we have 45.5. Moreover, to get the less than cumulative frequency, we will start with the first class, the one with the lowest value of the lower limit and upper limit in the class interval. We will look at the frequency of the first class and copy it into the column of the less than cumulative frequency. So we have 6. Then, we will add this to the frequency of the second class. 6 plus 12 is equal to 18. Then, we will add 18 by the frequency of the third class. 18 plus 9 is equal to 27. 27 plus 11 is equal to 38. 38 plus 8 is equal to 46. And 46 plus 4 is equal to 50. The last number for the less than cumulative frequency also determines the total number of frequency. So n is equal to 50. To check, you can add all the frequencies 4 plus 8 plus 11 plus 9 plus 12 plus 6 
is equal to 50. By counting, the size of the class interval is 5. So i is equal to 5. Step number 3 is to determine the p sub k class before computing the value for the p sub k. We have p sub k class is equal to k times n over 100. By substitution, we have p sub 65 class is equal to 65 times 50 all over 100. 65 times 50 is equal to 3250 divided by 100 is equal to 32.5. 32.5 is between 38 and 27. So, we will choose the higher value, which is 38. Hence, the P sub 65 class is found in the fourth class. After we determine our P sub K class, we can now apply the formula for percentile to solve the percentile value we have p sub k is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity k times n over 100 minus less than cumulative frequency before the p sub k class all over the frequency of p sub k times the interval. Then, let us substitute the given values. We have p sub 65 is equal to the lower boundary of p sub 65 and that is 35.5 plus quantity kn over 100 which we already solved and that is equal to 32.5 minus less than cumulative frequency before the p sub k class which is equal to 27 all over the frequency of p sub 65 that is equal to 11 times the size of the interval, which is obviously equal to 5. After substitution, we can now solve 32.5 minus 27 is equal to 5.5 and the rest copy. Next, multiply 5.5 by 5, we have 27.5. Divided by 11, we have 2.5. 35.5 plus 2.5 is equal to 38. So, the 65th percentile is equal to 38. Percentile 65 means 65% of the distribution. Therefore, 65% of the students have a score less than or equal to 38. After solving for percentile 65, let us proceed solving the 32nd percentile or P sub 30. Since we already identified the lower boundary and less than cumulative frequency, we can already proceed with step number 3, and that is to determine the P sub K class. We have P sub K class is equal to Kn or K times N over 100 by substitution we have P sub 32 class is equal to 32 times 50 over 100. 32 times 50 is equal to 1,600 divided by 100. We have 16. 16 is between 18 and 6. Again, we will choose the higher value, which is 18. Hence, the P sub 32 class is found in the second class. After we determine our P sub K class, we can now apply the formula for percentile to solve the percentile value. We have P sub K is equal to the lower boundary plus quantity K times N over 100 minus less than cumulative frequency before the P sub K class all over the frequency of the P sub K times the size of the interval. Then, let us substitute the given values. P sub k will become P sub 32 is equal to the lower boundary, which is 25.5. We already solved kn over 100, which is equal to 16, minus less than cumulative frequency before the P sub 32, and that is equal to 6. 
all over the frequency of the P sub K class, which is equal to 12, times the interval, which is 5. After substitution, we can now solve. 16 minus 6 is equal to 10, and the rest, copy. Next, multiply 10 by 5, we have 50. 50 divided by 12 is equal to 4.17. 25.5 plus 4.17 is equal to 29.67. Percentile 32 is equal to 29.67. Percentile 32 means 32% of the distribution. Therefore, 32% of the students have a score less than or equal to 29.67.